Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in my hospital bag and what I packed in my diaper bag before the baby comes. I'm going to be showing you what I have in these bags before the baby comes. Currently today, I am 39 weeks and a day. Woo -woo, we're in full term and we're almost there. Let's start out with the hospital bag. This is the hospital bag that I got on my baby res registry. It is a Herschel bag. I really like it. It's a duffel bag. It has two, one side for things. And then we'll just go into it. Got it off Amazon on my baby registry. I will link everything down below. So let's begin. This is semi-organized. There's some things that are not in here because this is packed out, my friends. So we'll start off with this bag. This has some breastfeeding pads in there as well as some wipes, like makeup wipes. But I have these reusable breast feeding pads and then i also am bringing the soothies the cooling gel just in case the box came squished just like that i have this in a ziploc bag just to keep it sectioned off then i have this that i just threw in there the other day this is my sleeping mask just in case i want to use that we got an empty soap container to take body soap for taking a shower there I have my Perry bottle in here. Again, I got this on Amazon. This one is a pink one, and someone gifted this to me because it was on my baby registry. Then I have this little container, which is actually for mask. It's a I got it at the Japanese dollar store here, and I have a mask in here. But I just put like a scrunchie, ooh, two hair ties and a clip because I don't know if I want my hair down or if I'm gonna want my hair up. I just gotta get this hair off this, these scrunchies, but I just put it in this container cause it's just easy, I'll know where it is. We got two brand new toothbrushes for me and my husband. He just wanted me to get new toothbrushes for that. So I did that and here is the toothpaste. So I will just put the brushes with the toothpaste like that in a Ziploc bag so that the toothpaste does not leak. Okay, the next thing we have, I have my husband's, what he calls it, pump present. So my husband did get me a push present. I got him a present as well. Maybe many of you will be like, why would you get a present? Let me tell you, my husband has done so much for me throughout this whole pregnancy. Like he is just such a, a great husband and he is gonna be an amazing father. So of course I'm gonna get him a gift just cause out of kindness I want to. So I got him a massage gift certificate to the massage place that I go to here on base called Pata's. And then I got, you know, two lingerie outfits for him from Shane. So I got those. I got like a red one and a blue one. And then I'm buying him a Japanese knife because he just recently bought one. And he's really in love with this. Ooh, I hope I didn't break this. Let me tie this up correctly. Japanese knife will be included in this one too because I have a feeling he got me a really good push present. And he doesn't really ask for things. So he really likes the Japanese knife. So I actually have to go to the store after this. I forgot and go get him that knife before he comes home. I have flip flops. I have it in a Ziploc bag because I've used these flip flops before. This is so that I don't have to put my feet in the shower. So there's that. Then I have hospital slippers. This I just got from the dollar store. They're super cute. It's gonna be real fun putting all this back in. Then I have about, I have eight diapers here. These are the Always brand, the Boutique brand. I was trying to look for an organic brand. I didn't realize this comes with perfume in it, like it has fragrance in it. I typically will not use anything that has perfume in it, but I already ordered them and to ship it back and just to get another one, it would just be chaotic. So I'm just dealing with it for this time. I got the size small, medium. I wanted the cuter style ones just because we're giving birth and there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening. So I just wanted to look a little cute, you know? So I got those and I also have reusable underwear as well, but 
I'm taking all of this to the hospital because I don't know how many I'm gonna use. But I just like to be clean as all, as as much as possible. Put in here a set of like real like relaxing clothes, just like a long sleeve shirt. I do have a brand new pajamas that I just bought, but I didn't know if it was gonna come in here in time. So I have these leggings just to wear to go home as well in something comfortable. I have socks in here. I have a bathing suit just in case I'm in the shower and the nurses, I don't know. You never know. Maybe I'll feel more comfortable wearing the bathing suit. Maybe I won't even care. Maybe I won't even use it. But next up here is this reusable underwear that I got. I got a three pack on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'm just bringing one just in case I, I want that. I like to have choices, but I'll most likely be wearing the diapers. Then I got these two nursing bras off Amazon. They're thin, they don't have any padding in them, but I just wanted to be comfortable. I didn't want like really any tightness in that area just in case I'll be nursing and stuff. So I got those gray, it came in a pack, pack two pack. This is a gray one and this is a polka dot one. I got those two nursing bras. Then I did get a hospital gown. I know that, you know, it's gonna get messy and everything. I just wanted my own and it's super cute. And what I like about this one, it opens up in the front so that when you're nursing, you just stick out your boob. And with the hospital ones, it just opens up in the back. So that makes everything just so much easier. And I just want to look cute. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look cute when you're giving birth, even though it gets messy, I know. All right, the next thing that I have here, the band, I don't know exactly what it's called, let's see. Postpartum support band, and it comes in three different parts. I'll just take one out. And this is to hold up everything because I hear that you feel like your organs are all falling because the baby's out and you have all this extra room. And I'm not trying to feel that any kind of that type of sensation so this is the postpartum band i just broke the bag but anyway there's that i also brought another pair of socks a nice long dress in case i don't want to wear pants just for something for comfort and then from brainy bundle brainy bubble this is a girl i went to high school with I got a robe and swaddle kit. This is the softest thing ever. Everything's already washed too. I got this beautiful, beautiful robe. It is so soft, so cute. It comes with a matching set with your baby. So she has them for boys and for girls. So I'm having a boy. So I got the olive green one and it comes with a little hat. And then this is the swaddle that we have here it came with this really soft tote bag and like the softest tote bag i've ever had it's really cute this robe is super soft i love it even with my baby bump right now it's so cute and it has pockets as well two pockets i just actually found a baby sock in it it's super soft i love this robe i'll be using this robe for afterwards as well super great material i absolutely love this robe i will link her etsy down below so that you guys can see what she has she's coming out with a lot more matching sets so that's super cute now i have this little bag here and my makeup is not packed up in here but I will have my makeup as well uh, obviously I'm using my makeup so that's why I don't have that so I have this lotion little lotion I wear lotion every single day I don't like feeling like I don't have lotion on I like to be moisturized that's what I'm trying to say I have this Giovanni sample size or travel size shampoo and conditioner for me and my husband I have floss I have band-aids and then i have more floss this was just in here i have massage cream if i ran out of lotion i have this fit glow beauty calm cleansing milk and a balm they're just sample sizes that i just got with my foundation my foundation is from fit glow and then on the side pocket 
here. I have like these little bit of self-care stuff that I want at the hospital just in case I want to like freshen up. I have this Pacifica. I bought two face masks here and this is the rose and peptide facial mask. And then I also got these aloe vera and cucumber under eye patches. Hey, you're waiting, whatever. I want to feel good or I feel gross. Why not have options, right? My really good friend that lives here on base bought us this as part of our baby shower gift and their mask that says promoted to mommy, established 2021. So when we leave the hospital, we could wear those. And then my husband got one too, promoted to daddy. 2021. It's really cute. I really like that. I bought two sets of new matching set pajamas. I actually really needed pajamas really bad. I was just wearing mixed match things, so I really needed a couple new sets of pajamas. Got them off Amazon. There's one that's in navy blue. I got a button up shirt and uh, pants. I was gonna get nightgowns, but I'm not someone that likes my legs touching in, at nighttime. I need to have pants on. So I was like, why am I gonna get nightgowns? Cause you know, other moms were getting nightgowns for their hospital bag from the videos that I was watching. So I got two matching sets and one is navy blue. I believe it's at the post office right now. So I'll show you a, a picture from Amazon of what I got or a clip that I'll add in. Got this t-shirt button up matching set. Comes with a pocket. I got this tie dye color one. I'm really into tie dye right now. As you can tell, I got these pants here and I tried it on, it fits. This one has pockets as well. So I just got two pajama sets so that I can easily unbutton it when I'm nursing in recovery as well. Now there are some things that didn't fit here that I'll be taking to the hospital as well. I have a diffuser, a essential oil diffuser, and I'm gonna show you my oils now. I bought this like eight pack of candle lit flames that comes with remotes and we bought batteries and he, I needed like 18 batteries. So we got lots of batteries. I am trying to make my hospital experience with birth, with candles lit, and even though they're fake candles, I'm trying to set the mood, the ambiance with my diffuser because I really wanted a home birth and I didn't get to have a home birth here in Misawa, Japan on a military base. For those of you who are new on this, on this channel, I do live on a base all the way up north in Japan. It, we only have 11,000 people on this base. It's one of the smallest bases to live on. We only have three doctors here. They go on rotation. So we have two female doctors at the moment and a male doctor. It's just really small. So like the hospital doesn't even feel really like a normal hospital, but I wanted a home birth and I didn't know you couldn't have a home birth here. They don't have an ICU and they don't have blood transfusions. So with that being said, if something bad was to happen, they can't help me and I, it's just one of the rules that they have on this base that you can't have a home birth uh, because they don't have an NICU, they don't have the ICU just in case something happens or they don't have, for blood transfusions, they don't have that option, they would have to send you to a Japanese hospital. That, that's the reason why I'm not having a home birth. Hopefully for my second kid, if we decide to have a second kid, I will have a home birth. This is my second bag here. This is where I think I'll put my makeup in. I have postpartum stuff here. I actually have Q-tips in here as well. But I'll show you what I have in here. And I don't know if I'll use this stuff when I'm at the hospital. I definitely have chapstick. Hurrah, chapstick is my favorite. I love to be moisturized, so chapstick's definitely in there. This is from Wish Garden. This is an herbal remedy. It is after ease for pregnancy. So after you give birth and you give birth to your placenta, if you're breastfeeding, you start to have contractions because your uterus is shrinking back. So this is a very popular herb that a lot of people use. It's a liquid tincture that helps with all the cramping and stuff. I have this organic perineal balm, and then I also have Young Living's Clariderm, also Lavaderm to spray in that area. So if you've gotten like dermaplast, I think that's what it's called, 
this is my organic switch out option for that. And you just spray this in that, that area and you're good to go. Especially this Clariderm, highly recommended for postpartum and for your perineal for after birth and stuff. And this has frankincense in it, it has helichrysum in it, chamomile, myrrh, tea tree, and lavender. All the good stuff. And this is just simply lavender, northern light black spruce, helichrysum, aloe vera as well. So I have those two because I am a Young Living brand partner. It's one of my businesses. I have this Dr. Bronner's Organic Magic Balm, just in case I wanna use that as well. This stuff is really great. That's what I have in this little gift bag. And then the last thing I'll show you that's part of my hospital bag is my essential oils. There's so many different oils that I have in here. I have a sample size of Peace and Calming and Lavender. I made this blend for the baby. This is a digest blend, really good for when the baby has gas and colic. So there's only a few drops of copaiba in here and the rest has grapeseed oil in it. I have copaiba. I have Valor, which is AKA known as like the chiropractic oil, but it's really good for promoting if you have any fear and it helps promote courage. Put a roll on on this one. This is a, a roll on right there so that it's easy accessible. It's really good for your joints. Will be used during labor when I'm going through all the, all the things through labor. I have Aroma Ease in case I feel nauseous or anything. So I also have peppermint in here too. Here's peppermint. And then I'm making a roll on out of this, but this is Clary Sage, really good for that cramping as well. And I'll be making a small roll on as well for the Sclerosense. I love Sclerosense. Really good for PMS, helping relief with PMS, cramping. I'll do little two roll-ons of that with the Clarisage and Sclerosense. And I'll be roll rolling that on my abdomen. Check out my Instagram if you want to learn more about essential oils, because I talk about them all the time. I have Endoflex, really great for hormones. I'm bringing my Progestion Plus serum as well because your hormones are gonna be crazy during, you know, after giving labor. And then geranium is my last one that I have in here. Really a floral scent. That's just really to get me uplifted and feeling good. That's my little essential oil kit case and I'll probably do a postpartum video as well of me using all of that. So that is everything. I'm also bringing a boppy, two pillows, one for me and my husband and a blanket because I need all the comfort, especially, I'm bringing my home to the hospital and it's actually really funny. The hospital, I could literally walk there. It is five minutes away. It's like two minutes in a car. It's so close, so that's great. So if I miss anything, my husband can come in and grab something. I made padsicles last night. They're in the freezer, <laughs> all the things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's helpful for anything that you forgot or that you would be like, oh my God, I wanna add that too because I'm making my hospital experience as best as I can. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did and also subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys in another video. Here is where I set my stuff because the door is right there. Not that we'd be rushing or anything, but I just have this out here. It's ready to go. There's the batteries, my camera stuff. Here's what I was saying, the list. I have Devin's list, the baby's diaper bag, and my list.